I'm back and with a long-awaited update on the table saw. So you may remember I was restoring a beaver table saw and the keen-eyed among you might notice this isn't it. Ah, oh, this is a beaver jointer. Probably about the same age as the saw. We'll get more into that later. Give a quick walk around as we go. So the reason I don't I'm not doing the saw anymore is I don't have the saw anymore. The whole purpose of those videos in the first place was uh, my father-in-law was an avid woodworker and unfortunately he was in the hospital. Uh, it was during peak COVID times and uh, as it turned out I wasn't on the list of people who could visit him. He had a restricted, uh, I think they gave you a given number of people, a maximum number that you can uh, uh, that you can have visit you, basically just sort of a, a list. And uh, it was taken up by, of course, you know, my mother-in-law and my wife and my sister-in-law and uh, people closer in, uh, in blood relation to him than I was. Uh, I was bummed about it, but, you know, rules are rules. That's how she goes. Anyways, uh, while I couldn't visit him, he had his phone on him, so I started making videos of the things I was up to. Um, I wanted to get better at uh, uh, just producing videos and talking sort of off the cuff and that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, I want to be able to share what I was up to and, and you know, God knows he needed the, uh, the entertainment, uh, sitting in a hospital bed all day. So I decided I was going to restore my old table saw and, uh, you know, make videos to update him as, as uh, I went along. Unfortunately, not too long after the last video I posted, uh, he passed away in the hospital. Uh, so, you know, it kind of sucked the life out of me on it. That, uh, you know, it was a crushing blow to everybody involved. You know, was the, the man was larger than life. Um, and as such, I just, you know, I kind of struggled to go on. Uh, as I said before, he was an avid woodworker himself. Uh, he had a uh, pretty well-equipped shop. And as it turned out, he wanted me to have all of his tools when he passed. So uh, I've carried on the, uh, the woodwork sort of in, uh, in his memory. Uh, but because I inherited a much, much better and newer table saw than the beaver I was redoing, I decided to sell on the beaver to someone else. Uh, a guy that I believe was just sort of, sort of uh, dipping his toe into cabinetry locally here. So, you know, hopefully it's taken him a long way. He was looking to to kind of get into it for uh, as little cost as he could get away with. And uh, hopefully I helped give him a good start on it. So that's why there's no table saw. Now the good news is, well, I don't know if it's good news, the news is that uh, one of the tools I inherited was this old beaver jointer. And it does work. I have used it. Uh, the problem is it is a little bit sketchy. Um, you'll notice it's not bolted down. It's, it's just held together by gravity. Uh, instead of any kind of belt tensioner, you just wedge progressively thicker wooden blocks in until the belt tension is taken up. Uh, the motor's just sort of down on a block down there. It's, it's bolted on, so that's something. As you can see, the handles to move it around are a little off kilter. And uh, when I got it, it just had this left-right light switch with no clear on-off. You just kind of plug it in and pray it didn't start moving right away. So that's been labeled. So, plan for the spring when it's a little warmer here. I want to get a little sturdier, uh, sturdier base built or, or shore up what's here. I want to get it bolted down. I want to get proper belt tensioning on this thing and, uh, of course, rewiring it. Um, because, you know, I'd like to get something with a proper uh, push button. You know, a nice big off push button. Um, it just, I don't know, it just feels like the right thing to do, uh, you know, in a workshop where I plan to keep all my fingers. Uh, speaking of keeping fingers, this thing was built, uh, just as a quick little walk around here, this thing was built before safety was invented. Uh, you know, a modern jointer is going to have sort of a little swing out guard thingy here. Uh, this one, there you go, just right there, out in the open, blade of doom. At least it's got a cover on the backside. Um, where a modern jointer has a little swing out guard on it, this one, you actually have to uh, adjust the entire fence in and out. So depending on the thickness of the thing that you're, uh, that you're trimming the edge on, uh, you can move the, uh, the fence back and forth to expose sort of a minimal amount of blade beyond your stock. Uh, at first, I actually thought it was like that for, uh, for rabbiting things, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So yeah, there you have it. Old, uh, old beaver jointer with a little update on uh, where the table saw went. And a little promise that, like I said, in the spring when things warm up a little, we'll get uh, we'll get restoring this thing and get uh, jointing like nobody's business. Thanks for watching.